Blessings, beloveds. Mm, so good to be here with you. I'm just checking so everything works. So I'm going to do an energy update, a juicy one. At least that's what my guides expressed it as. <clears throat> We're actually in very interesting times and periods. So I'm very happy to be here with all of you. <coughs> Some throat chakra clearing. So I will go through a little bit about what is actually happening right now on a deeper level. And my guides wanted me to give an example of my personal journey around this energies and processes that we are undergoing to get a better grip and understanding. And then we will do an activation, more transmission, what I want to come through in the end that can support us energetically. So we have really activated our emotional intelligence for quite a long time. And many of us had that naturally inside of us because we were empaths and we are empaths. So this uh, emotional intelligence connects us to the beauty and the importance and the gift of being able to connect and feel our emotions. It's actually very necessary to have a balanced and beautiful life here on earth. So it's part of the awakening, it's part of the ascension to be able to feel emotions. So the more we open up, the more of the entire spectrum will be available for us. So we will feel more love, more joy, more happiness. Also, we will be able to feel sadness and pain on deeper levels. And we have emotions for a reason. Emotions helps us navigate into our truth. What is true for me? What is not true for me? Emotions helps us navigate with our boundaries. Emotions helps us activate power. And emotions, most of all, connect us and communicates with our heart. So my guides will keep saying, any unresolved emotions will arise to the surface now and they will arise through triggering events. So this was coming up over and over and over again. <coughs> and I didn't notice it. I was like, well, I'm not feeling that. And um, so triggering events can be whatever in the outer that really triggers those those deep unresolved emotions that we carry inside of us, that we actually, all of us, we have them there. We have unresolved emotions that now is a period where we are ready uh, to really feel them and sense them. So the triggering event that happened for me that like really released these unresolved emotions that took a couple of days for me to understand um, was very interesting because I, I did a surgery three months ago, as I shared with you, I removed my breast implants. So I haven't been able to train and move my body as regularly. And in the same time being in menopause and all these hormones, so the body is just completely changing. And I've been able to hold a lot of space around this but uh, three days ago all these emotions all the emotions started to rise inside of me where i started to judge myself i was judging my body i wanted to go into control like i'm like what is this and i was sitting with it and i asked my guys to show me and they just took me back to this time in my teenager when i was modeling and I went into like eating disorder for a, a few years. And I thought I had healed that because it wasn't so deep. It never got like anorexia or bulimia. We always tend to make our trauma smaller than they are. And I managed to 
start to train and eat more healthy and blah, blah, blah. And I thought that was like healed. But now, I mean, I'm soon 50, you know, this just comes up and I noticed that there were so many unresolved emotions from this like two, three years that this was going on and it was really painful. There's like nights of hunger, uh, deep judgment and hate towards my body, like all of those things. And I haven't been able to grasp it and all of this like energies becomes like layers in the in our energetic body that blocks us subconsciously in so many layers so once i started to release that and it has taken me many years to be able to release i was screaming i was crying and then the whole thing from my mother and her grandmother the same issue started to arise from the entire ancestral lineage and so many deeper layers of it so i could go into deep breath work and have like a full release for like one and a half hour and then i felt like uh, i was had gone through like a rebirth and um it takes time on this journey to start to feel so safe with ourselves that we can go into the deepest layers, maybe those moments where we haven't wanted to stay here on earth, that we haven't wanted to live and to be able to go into that pain which is stored somewhere in the light body and to clear and release it because that experience we had in this lifetime is of course connected to previous lifetimes which is also like a karma that we have the opportunity to clear not only for ourselves but also for ancestors and the entire collective so this is a massive theme so i want to say it again any unresolved emotions will want to come up now during this time and it's of course this is preparation for us to move into new beginnings after august and equinox so we shall welcome welcome all the triggering events it can be people it can be whatever so just open your consciousness around this and and really you know we i feel that many of us are coming to a point with certain limiting beliefs we're coming to this point when we are like I can't stand this anymore, you know, fear or whatever limiting belief it might be about you, your life, your past, you know, it's just like arises and it's so ready to be cleared once and for all. So, I mean, I thought I was really good in releasing emotions, but I also understand that I'm really good in holding on subconsciously to emotions because that was the the way of surviving for many many years for many of us so we might start to unlock this deep safety inside of us to release emotions but there's also subconscious layers of our bodies that holds this inside so that's why somatic work body work breath work and all of those things are incredibly powerful to release what lays there and just makes life more mm, itchy so it's so good when we start to like oh why is it uncomfortable why is it uncomfortable and that uncomfortable feeling is almost always stuck emotions so once we have gone through this period it, we will not only have released a lot but we will have also managed to reach a new level of uh, dismantling clearing and releasing emotions much faster and we are already doing it but it will go even faster we will notice we will uh, locate and we will clear it very fast and um, 
and it's like really like a gift. So we want to clear this because it also, of course, opens negative portals and it's easier to get attacked when we ha have these energies in our light body. Another thing that has been coming up lately is different kind of addictions and I would say emotional addictions. So uh, this addictions can also be distractions. So for many of us, the programming has been also survival mechanisms to make sure we find things that makes us really excited so we can just keep going and maybe even bury all those emotions that wants to come through, right? And we might think that happiness is this equal excitement and that being like in neutral is almost like starting to get depressed. So all of this limiting beliefs, old programmings, old templates are changing massively. And I mean, I've been studying, you know, meditation and stuff for a long 30 years plus, And I've heard so many times that to be excited, too excited is not good, it's really leaking energy. And I've been working with that for a long time, but it's like new layers of that is coming through. And it's really understanding that we can become really, and we can be addicted and we can really distract ourselves with believing that we need to search excitement all the time. And right now we are being upgraded in being able to stay neutral. And neutral is actually an ecstatic, amazing space. We just don't know it so well in this incarnation. So that is also something that happens because to be too excited is leaking energy and you know the pendulum if it goes too much up it's going to go all the way to the other way and then we're going to leak and be depleted so it is like the pendulum is going like this and we can still have this incredible sensation of life force energy but we don't need to leak it out into excitement so this is also something that is working incredibly deeply in me because I have all this life force energy and I'm so used to get high on excitements, which made me manage all of my traumas throughout my lifetime, right? But now it's like, hmm, okay, let's clear this addiction about being excited all the time, over excited and see how excitement can be lived and experienced in neutral instead. Um, the last thing I want to talk about before I go into the activation is actually manifestation. So we are in the Lionsgate portal now and everyone talks about manifestation. And myself and many with me have, that I know for a couple of years now, it has been harder and harder to manifest. And of course, the controllers, the dark forces have tricked us and tried to attach us and even compromise our life with um, forcing, you know, to force manifestation to happen. So actually, if we start to manifest from our constricted human mind, we will only reach a little part of what would be possible to manifest. So manifestations is shifting for many of us more into like, okay, how do I want to feel? What is it? What is the sensations and feelings I want to manifest? And then we just like surrender more and more and ask for the highest good for everyone involved in the highest timeline, whatever that is, because God's plan is always greater than ours, but we don't see it immediately. So I know there's uh, many that have been reaching out and like, I don't know what to manifest. And I'm like, that's kind of good. Like, if we don't have a lot of other things that we want to manifest, it's like, then we are probably in a pretty good place. And um, we're doing the work and we are trusting and we're allowing God's greatness to move in, which is beyond what we can expect. And we become less attached to outcomes. We become less attached 
to uh, the future and so on and so on. But in the same time, we understand more and more now that we are creators of our reality and our reality is our emotions and our thoughts, which creates our light body and our blueprint. And that is what's being manifested into our everyday life. So we understand that we are the creators, but we don't need to bring in that old programming of manifestation. And, and the beautiful thing here is that, you know, the work that we've been doing to be the creators of our lives is um, the new relationship templates that are rising, where we understand that love is free and there should, should be no sacrifice in love. And, you know, we talk to our sisters and brothers now and we just hold space for each other. We don't need to fix anyone anymore. We trust in each other's path and like relationships are becoming so much deeper yet so much easier and they don't leak energy and there's really no attachments, but there's deep connections. and. I find that very, very fascinating because our nervous system is responding to this new relationship templates that are being created with our beloveds. And um, it's just this free, expanded, um, safe love container that we are bringing to earth and we're bringing it online. So. Let's move into an activation and um, I also want to say that Mother Mary is so present right now. I've been talking about so much mother healing is happening and mother to daughter, daughter to mother and son to mother and so on. So, But Ma uh, Mother Mary is here with her presence on earth on really new levels and she really wants to open up for you to connect with her and call her in when there's a lot of unresolved emotions coming in and you need her support so okay beloveds let's tune in take a couple of breaths so mother mary is of course coming in here so we ask for this transmission and activation to be fully connected and protected by god's infinite love light and power closing all negative portals in organic artificial timelines asking for a shadow vortex transit exit to clear all the negative energies, all the energies that are coming through this transmission and activation. So Mother Mary starts to activate and work on the backside of your heart chakra. So she's placing her hand on the back side of your heart and allow the energies and frequencies of the light codes and light language to come through and feel how you start to clear the back side of your heart chakra from past wounding pain and emotions maybe something particular shows up and allow that to come through so right now the back side of your heart chakra is clearing old dense energies of the unresolved emotions that you have resisted to meet, take care of and feel. So she's cleansing the backside of your heart chakra with this blue light technology that she brings in from Sirius. So there's some old relationships, energies that are ready to be cleared. Allow 
locate, dissolve, ku shatana kurunuta yaki shatana waishiataya shia. Okay, beautiful. So now she's just placing her hand to give you some extra healing. Cords have been cleared, released, and now you're receiving this beautiful hands-on healing from Mother Mary. Feel how the energy of the palms of her hand is just spreading out beyond the backside of your heart now to your entire physical body and just feel as she says surrender beloved surrender into the new allow your entire body to relax and allow yourself to be held by me as you gracefully move into new beginnings allow yourself to be held and rest into new beginnings. You not need to put any effort into the new beginning. The only effort you need to put in is the clearing and releasing of the old, so you no longer hold on to that. Allow yourself to be held and guided throughout this process into the new beginning. So she's placing this uh, blue light technology into your third eye. Feel how your brain expands, your third eye expands. Remember, no effort is requested to move into the new. You can relax, you can surrender. Just allow the old emotions that are unresolved to be seen, to be felt, to be acknowledged. And do not fear to let go of the old and what is done completed. So this beautiful blue light is clearing, cleansing your brain from any limiting beliefs. And now this blue light energy starts to expand out to your entire auric field. Just bathe in this blue light in the presence of Mother Mary, purification, relaxation, deep faith and devotion to the process, trust, Akiana. Otonoki anarana, ikiashana oaya iki ana. Remember the clearing, the cleansing, the emotional release is beyond the story and the trigger that is arising. It is just the trigger you need to release emotional pain, trauma, experience from eons of lifetimes for you the ancestors and the collective in the corona ki anashia saya blessings 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 upon you akiashana kuruno saya i bless you my child ana kuruno ya ki anarana yanarana ko ya ki ya breathe Mm, come slowly back as we seal this work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done. Breathe and come back. So <laughs> Mother Mary is coming in and 
If you want to join the Mother Mary healing in a few weeks, you're so welcome to move into her loving energetic field already, which I'm definitely preparing with many of you. Mm, there's so much going on, so much new things coming in. I'm just producing creatively so much that just wants to get birth together with you guys. Thank you for walking with me. Thank you for trusting and just coming here, listening, receiving, being the puzzle pieces in the whole. I love you. I honor you. Have a beautiful journey of the unresolved emotions as we are ready. Mm. Much, much love to all of you. And as always, please feel free to share anything that came out through the transmission or the activation. Mm, I will put the link for the Mother Mary healing also. Otherwise, you will be asking me. <laughs> Blessings.